Hey, hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Contentsla, and welcome to today's Pokemon Go Spotlight video. Today we're going to be doing a deep dive on the bug and fighting type Ultra Beast Pokemon, Buswall. This Pokemon is extremely powerful and it's definitely as strong as it looks. This Pokemon is one you will want to use in PvP, and I'm going to explain why. Alright, so with that said, let's roll the intro and jump right into it. Okay, let's dive right into it. So, Buzzwall is a bug and fighting type Ultra Beast Pokemon, which means it's going to be as strong as most of the legendaries out there, and this is a type combination that's extremely unique. But its typing is not necessarily where it's going to be the strongest. It has some really well-rounded stats that are going to make it useful in a variety of different game modes, but most especially in any of the leagues in the Go Battle League. Buzzwall comes with an attack stat of 236, a defense stat of 196, and a stamina stat of 216. Now based on these base stats alone, you would find that this Pokemon is going to be stronger than even some of the most powerful legendaries that are currently out there. You will want to treat this Pokemon as an offensive Pokemon with a little bit of bulk. It's going to be really strong as a lead in most Go Battle League teams, but it's also going to be a very powerful safe switch if you're coming across some really hard counters to some of your Pokemon. Now as I mentioned before, Buzzwall is a bug and fighting type Pokemon, which means it's going to have a variety of different weaknesses. It's going to be weak against fairy types, fire types, flying types, and psychic types. Now out of all four of these, you will want to watch out for flying types the most, because it's going to have a double weakness against flying type attacks. But of course, fighting types and bug types do synergize pretty well. It's going to be resistant against bug types, dark types, fighting types, grass types, and ground types. This is something you need to keep in mind because in the Go Battle League, there's quite a lot of Pokemon that are meta that have these typings. So you could actually use Buzzwall to counter a lot of the top Pokemon in the Go Battle League. Now let's talk about Buzzwall's move pool because I really think there's a couple of standouts in this move pool that will make it really powerful in the Go Battle League. First and foremost, when it comes to its fast moves, it can come with Counter and Poison Jab. The obvious choice between these two is going to be Counter. It generates a lot of energy and it does a lot of damage as well. Now in terms of its charge attacks, you're going to see some very familiar moves. It can come with Super Power, Power Up Punch, Fell Stinger, and Lunge. Now it's really going to depend on what you're struggling against in the Go Battle League. Super Power and Power Up Punch is a very strong fighting type move combo, but you will not want to discount Lunge considering how powerful that move is. I would suggest going with a move combination of Power Up Punch and Lunge. Power Up Punch of course is going to boost up your attack damage, and it's also going to bait out a lot of shield. Fields. And then Lunge is a very powerful attack that also debuffs your opponents. You will definitely want to go with that. And of course, these are going to be the moves that are going to be best for PvP. But if you're going to use Buzzwall for PvE, then I suggest going with Counter, Super Power, and Power Up Punch. You're mostly going to be using Counter and Super Power, considering that Super Power is a pretty high damage dealing charge attack. And of course, with Counter, you're going to be generating a lot of energy while also gaining the benefit from stab. But I would actually hold off on using Buzzwall in PvE, mainly because there's going to be other fighting types out there that are going to do equal or better damage, and it's going to be a lot easier to get better IVs of those specific Pokemon. Like for example, Machamp is a much easier Pokemon to get compared to Buzzwall, and it is going to be comparable in damage just because it has counter and dynamic punch. Unfortunately, Buzzwall doesn't have the most ideal moveset for PvE, however, if it were to get the move dynamic punch, punch in the future, it would definitely be the absolute best fighting type Pokemon that you can bring. But until then, it's going to be somewhat mediocre in raid battles, so I would suggest going with any of the usual three, that being Machamp, Conkeldor, and of course, Lucario. But in terms of the Go Battle League, this Pokemon is going to be an instant standout. When it comes to the Ultra League and Master League, of course, the only good fighting type has always been Machamp, and Machamp is still going to be relevant in those game modes. But 
Buzzwall is definitely going to make a splash, especially because the Master League has needed some really good fighting types to counter some of the most common Pokemon that you would see in the Master League meta, like Dialga. And if you happen to get yourself a Buzzwall with low enough CP where it would qualify for the Great League, you should definitely bring it to the Great League because it's going to be a very powerful Pokemon with very few counters and it's definitely going to dominate some of the most commonly used Pokemon in that league. And then of course with the Ultra League, it's going to be a beefed up version of Heracross and for a lot of the off meta picks, Heracross tends to be near the top. So this Pokemon is definitely going to be useful in the Ultra League considering that it has very few counters and it's going to just create a lot of havoc with Lunge and one of its fighting type charge attacks. In terms of the most ideal IVs, if you're going to look for one for the Great League, then you will want one that has 2 attack, 15 defense, and 15 health. And if you're looking for one that's ideal for the Ultra League, then you will want one with 4 attack, 15 defense, and 14 health. And then of course in the Master League, you just want a 100% of this Pokemon. So if you're lucky enough to get yourself a 100%, I would definitely dedicate the resources to maxing this out because it's going to be extremely powerful in the Master League with very few counters and a lot of favorable matchups. Overall, I have to say that Buzzwall is a very well designed Pokemon. It's going to be really strong in some of the leagues in the Go Battle League that are kind of lacking, and I actually think it's viable in raid battles if it were to get the move Dynamic Punch in the future. Fortunately, it is a move that was available to Buzzwall in the mainstream games, so I'm hoping that it will be part of the move pool sometime in the future. That would be really great because that would make Buzzwall also a really strong Pokemon to use in PvE, and that is something that we haven't had in a while, a Pokemon that's good for both PvP and PvE. But in any case, yeah, this is going to be my deep dive on this brand new Ultra Beast Pokemon, but I would love to know your thoughts regarding this Pokemon down below in the the comment section. Were you able to attend Pokemon Go Fest Seattle and pick up this Pokemon? How often have you been using it? Let me know down below and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video and found it to be helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, then do consider checking out the links in the description below. For all of my patrons, they get a permanent spot in my in-game friends list. So if you want to remote raid with me, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon and do consider joining me there. And yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Count Insula, be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.